Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. So what I'm about to attempt to do is I'm gonna build another RC mower. Um, I started thinking about it and I don't think I really need what I made before. So I'm gonna go in a different direction this time. But anyway, this is gonna be part one. This is gonna be the electronics part, um, or start of it anyway. Basically what I built, or what I did here was, and I'll hook this up real quick so you can see this going. I hook up some power here. Actually, let me turn on my remote first. Turn on my remote first. All right, and get all the switches, you know, the up position. Everybody has these. Actually, that's weird that the last one didn't work. But anyway, that's on there. Let me hit power to this one. Again, I don't have any kind of switches yet, so I'm just hitting power on off. So what I have here is, and you probably can't even see, this is lit up here. Let's see if I can get a better picture of that. Probably not, because I don't have the best camera here. Yeah, you're not going to really be, be able to see that. But anyway, uh, that shows the voltage. This is a, a, a DC to DC converter. It'll take voltage in and either increase it or lower it. Uh, I'm actually using it to, to lower it. I'm putting 24 volts in it, and it's coming out with 5 to crawl, control my RC receiver, which is over here, and to control these two motor controllers. Now I'm using the wheelchair motors like everybody else does. All right, there, there's one, there's the other one. And if I, let me do this a little bit better, get on to one of them. Let's see if I can get the camera stuck. But anyway, um, there's kind of both of them in the frame. And if I take my remote control and obviously go forward, they both move forward. I go to go backwards, they both move backwards, left, or I'm sorry, left, right, yeah. So they'll, this is a, uh, I forget what mode they call this, but this is like the zero turn mode. And what I wanna try to do this time is make like a four wheel drive version of this. So what I'm gonna just do is, I see a lot of people do it, just use a motor. You know, I'm gonna build a, an adapter, put a sprocket on it, and then my two other wheels that I have somewhere here, uh, I don't know about this. The wheels, I'm just going to probably use a chain and a sprocket and, um, you know, make it like a four-wheel drive thing. I'm still debating that because uh, I'm only using this. I, I'm not sure what I want to do with this. I'm not sure if I want to use this just to cut the lawn or if I actually want to use this to maybe pull things around. Like, how powerful do I really want this? Um, the other one, I use the saber tooth. In fact, everything's over here. It's kind of a mess right here, but if you look at this right here, with this one, I actually used the saber tube inside there. And this worked out, you know, this works. It, it does work, but I'm just looking for something a little bit more. I don't know if you can really see it in there, but yeah, the saber tube is in there. And this one, I have it where, you know, I, I actually stole the batteries for this real quick to test this one. But it's only two wheels in the rear. It does work. I'm just, for some reason, with the Craftsman mower, it's not working out right. Here comes a dog. What dog is this? Bella, where are you coming from, huh? What you doing, girl? Where's everybody at? Yeah, just peeking around. Anyway, but so what I want to try to do is make something four-wheel drive. Just something maybe a little bit more powerful. I'm going to do something different with the mower. I think I'm actually going to go and buy, uh, buy or make, to be honest with you, the blades that they have for the like the uh, autonomous mowers where basically, you know, they're just working off of the, they're very light. They work off like GPS or the, you know, the, the lines or whatever. But the crazy thing is they're stupidly light. They're basically nothing to it. It's a, it's a plastic disc with, with six razor blades on it, basically. And it's cutting the grass. So why can't I build that, but bigger and make it, you know, I don't know, maybe put maybe two of them on there. Maybe I'll try to put two, like maybe one, you know, angle them a little bit on the side. I don't want anything really big, but I did start making a frame already. And it, it's got a little bit bigger than, you know, I, I'll show it on the next video. But um, basically, that's where I'm at. The, the step one is the electronics part. Now, I'm probably going to, this is made to go inside a box. I'm going to probably put a fan in here too to let it cool a little bit and I'll drill some holes in you know, one of those project boxes. This is the piece for it. So basically meaning this is all the electronics that you have here. Um, these are the two, yeah, that's going to make noise now because this, did I move something? Yeah, I think I turned something off. Oh, I pulled the battery out. Okay, that's why. Uh, at least it gives me the safety to that too. But um, 
So I'm not really sure which way I'm going to go yet with this. Uh, yeah, you can see all the, and it's powerful, and that's not even like going at all. Forward, reverse is perfect. The right one, the left one. It, it just, you know, instead of spending, you know, the saber tooth are like 130 bucks. I know Cytron makes one too that's a little bit cheaper, like ninety dollars. But these are like, two, these are four for fifteen dollars. You know, they're about five bucks a piece. Or you know, if you get a deal, you can't even beat it. So you got, I got, you know, maybe ten bucks here. The remote control, believe it or not, I got it at Amazon second hand. It's brand new, and it was twenty two dollars. Um, this is a buck converter. I got two of them for, I think it was like $12 or $10. So basically everything here, including the remote control is under a hundred to where you buy the saber tooth and you're already at 130 or more. Um, and then you may still need other, you know, controllers that, well, you don't really, you just, the saber tooth really does do everything. I added different safeties to it and everything else. But anyway, just to give a quick idea. I see a lot of people using these now, and let me see if I can zoom this in a little bit more. I see a lot of people using these, and you know, they work out great. If anybody's curious of the wiring, um, I can definitely give it, give you a diagram, or <clears throat> maybe show something along the way. Let me see if I can show this a little bit more. Camera, like I said, it's not the best, so. <clears throat> But what the way it works is, if I remember correctly, I'd have to go look at my diagram, but I think this first one here is ground, this one gets power, and these two get power. That's it, they get five volts, okay? Um, let me do it this way, yeah. So they get five volts over here. The last two go from the servo, if you take your servo apart, and that will give you control. So you gotta make sure you have this in the center, otherwise when you turn it left or right, it's going to kind of make the motors move but uh oh and then you have to go into the remote and uh let's see if i can lift this up a little bit more there's one of the batteries sorry i think as far as the remote goes i don't know let me see if i can back this up a little bit maybe right about there so i know when you go into the menu you go in a system, and I think what I did was I hit the, which one was it? I think it was mixes. I put the mixes on, one and two on. So this way it'll control both, and then I think you have to go back and hit the Elevon. Yeah, you have to have that at 100% too, and that has to be on. So basically channel one and channel two, channel one and two, channel two and one, so it makes it like that crawler or whatever you want to call it, the zero turn and then you just make sure you hold down the cancel button that sets everything and then you're back to your uh, remote again now my other one i did have the the uh, the piece that told me the voltage on here so i'll probably buy that again um and also i'll add some more relays like flashing lights you know for safety and everything else i just i think i want to make this thing a little more uh i want to make it four-wheel drive i know that for a fact I want to make it a little more powerful so I can pull other things around, possibly even pull a car if I have to. Uh, obviously, it's a wheelchair motor, so you can only do so much. But they, these are the heavy-duty ones, and these are actually made, uh, I don't want to be mean, uh, but these are actually made to carry a lot heavier people, maybe like in the five to 700 range. I mean, come on, everybody watches, you know, Doctor, you know, whatever the name of the show is, Doctor Now, whatever it is. So me, I'm like maybe 180 pounds soaking wet. But eh, anyway, um, so two 12 volt batteries, 24 volts. It's jumped over positive to negative. Uh, these are the controllers. Uh, like I said, this is pretty much basically part one. This will be, you know, the start of my uh, electric mower project or battery mower project. Um, like I said, the other things I want to do too is like a ball hitch, some other things just to make it more versatile and maybe make it do more things. Um, but as of now, this is pretty much a setup. I do have the project box. I just got to drill some holes, make the electronics a little bit cleaner. Like I said, I think I want to add a, where's my fan at? Um, 
I got a little fan I want to add to it. Uh, I think this is actually a 12 volt fan, but I don't think it really matters. I'm sure a five volts would be fine to it. Or, you know what, I do have another buck converter if I have to, but just out of curiosity, uh, this would probably be, let me see what we got there, positive, yeah, positive and negative. So if I was just to go give this a quick thing, let's see if it'll work off of five volts. Yeah, it will. Maybe not the fastest, but, oh, you probably can't even see that. Yeah, it, it'll work off of five volts. Um, does it put out that much? Not really. I may have to add another buck converter or just get like a 24 volt fan. Yeah, it's only 12 volts. I mean, I guess it, I guess what do you really need, honestly? I just mounted something like that. Actually, I'd mounted something like that. So it blows on them and cools them down. That's probably the way it'll be. Something like that. Just something to get the airflow going through so it's not just sitting inside the box. That's the mistake I made with my other one. Um, let me shut this off. Let me try to pull this camera off of here and go hands on a second. I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's probably not going to be easy enough. I just broke that piece. All right. <laughs> So up close, this is the buck converter, okay, power in, it's right there, this is the 24 volt fin, it's going across here, this is obviously, it's upside down actually, I, I could have turned it the other way, but honestly, I'd rather have it just upside down because the wires are just made that way, um, I could change around, I, I, who knows, I don't know, anyway, so it goes out, of 5 volts goes out of there, 5 volts goes to control this, and 5 volts goes to control this, right here power and ground. This is the receiver, which I think I'll just keep the six channels because I don't need to add anything extra uh, other than just lights and maybe some fog lights, maybe some kind of elevation thing, but I, I can do all them in the double switch and stuff, so I think I should be okay. Uh, these are the servos that you have to take apart a servo. You take the motor wires and they go to the end ones, and if it's backwards, just reverse them, um, and same thing with the other one, and that would go into these, which are made to supposedly handle 43 amps, that's what everybody says, I'm not sure. Uh, these, I don't think, I think these are about 32 amps, or I don't, not even, 15 amps. You know, I could actually run it and see what it shows. But uh, that's that part. And like I said, these are a little bit bigger and heavier duty because just the way they're, they were made. Um, the other ones I have are not as heavy as these. These are just an upgraded motors, but I think I'll just make it that either make adapters or I'll do something with these. Like I said, to a sprocket and make it four wheel drive. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. I guess stay tuned. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions, anything, anything I try to answer. I'm not professional at this. You know, I'm watching other YouTube videos. This is the way I'm doing it. You know, I do not claim anything with this. I watch so many videos on people doing these two. And I figured I'd give it a shot for the price. Now, again, how well it'll work, I don't know. But the other thing I do want to add is like a servo in here or some kind of switch, something to kill main power in case there's a problem. I know this has a fail fail safe built into it, um, but yeah, just something to make it that it'll uh, uh, just another safety thing. I'm not sure. I want to do something maybe with like magnets and maybe something. If I got an emergency, I can press one of the buttons on here and it'll. Do disconnect. I, well, I'll have to figure that out later on. But as far as this, this is part one, the electronics part. And stay tuned, and there'll be more videos coming up. Hope everyone is enjoying the day and the weather, and stay safe and well. See you on the next one.